hey YouTube, we're at that point now. We're gonna do a custom loop, right? This is my first custom loop, so bear with me. It's gonna probably be a couple videos of figuring things out and how things are gonna work, but this might be good for you guys that, like, there's lots of videos out there on how to do this stuff, but this is gonna be the view from someone doing it for the first time. So this is probably good for you, any new timers. If you've already done custom loops and you've done plenty of them, uh, maybe leave a comment below what uh, what you think I should do differently or think things I should look out for as I'm going through this whole process. So we're going to do uh, actually a CPU and we're going to do a, a GPU water block. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going with the Corsair Hydro Series because I'm going all white. Uh, they have the best uh, all white one. I know uh, EK water blocks, really good stuff, but they don't offer a white one. So uh, I'm going with that. So the first thing we're going to mess around with is this. This is the this is the uh, GPU water block. This is an XG7 RGB water block. This is for, uh, I have a uh, Zotec 3080Ti Apollo, which is a reference design. So this is the reference. This is not a, uh, the Founders Edition, so this is for the reference one. Um, they make an XG7 for the reference for the Founders, whatever one you happen to have. This is for the 3080. Um, so, however, it, if you can see in the box, it is black, right? It's not going to really fit. So what I'm going to do is, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to unbox it, see what's everything in here. Then we're going to actually go ahead and figure out if I can uh, detach the black piece, take it off, or if I'm going to have to mask it up to paint it all. So I'm going to, I am going to paint it white. The black is going to become white. Nice white color. So we'll go through the step-by-step -step process on how to do that. I have an idea. I've done stuff like this in the past. So I have an idea how to do this. So we're going to uh, do that. So first, let's do the unboxing. Then we're going to get making this white. All right, guys, that's going to be this video. Okay, here's the unboxing. So uh, it's got cellar wrap around it. So let's first take that off. I'll just cut down the middle here. And my knife is not sharp enough. Actually, there it goes. All right. Let's take that off. Uh, and it obviously does not have. I think so we're just going to open up the side here. I hope. And take it out. All right. So that's the main box. Another bottom box inside. Well, it's actually a nice box in here. So I'm gonna open it up here and see what we got. Right, it is some wrap over that. And here we have it here. Uh, let's see what's up in here. So we actually have, this looks like a fan cable. Oh, this is our, actually addressable RGB, it looks like. Um, cable, take care of that. Here's the actual water block itself. It should be have everything on it already. So you can see a plastic thing with the uh, thermal paste on it, thermal pads all the way around it, and uh, RGB um, and connectors and stuff. So, all right, that's that part. We'll put this to the side. There's actually a back plate in here somewhere. Just another piece of cardboard. Uh, here's the back plate. Oh, so what do we got? We got screws. So to figure out where all these screws goes, these are actually for. Um, so these are for the water block to cover up one side versus the other screws to attach everything and then uh, this is this, yeah this is how to set it up how to install it instructions and here's the back plate so we are not gonna paint the back plate because with my uh, so you got thermal pads on the back plate which is nice uh, it does look now I, I've taken my GPU apart a few times this does look like the correct layout um, same thing with this. I, I have to double check, but I'm pretty sure, definitely, I'm almost positive this is a reference design and it's perfect. Uh, we, like I said, I have to figure out how to, it looks like we have some screws here. Screws here. Uh, we may have to take off some of these thermal pads just to kind of get, uh, it would be nice to take off the metal piece without uh, ruining the, um, um, making it not waterproof anymore, you know what I mean? If I could just take this plastic piece off, it would be really nice. So let's see how to do that. It's, it's metal, it's heavy. This would be good. So uh, maybe some um, etching primer uh, on top of this, uh, but we'll go from there. We'll see how we can do it. All right, guys, let's see how I can take this apart. All right, guys, so um, I looked it over pretty well, and uh, I think the best bet is what we're gonna do is just use Blue's Painter's Tape. I'm gonna tape up all the pieces I don't want to be uh, painted white. Uh, I'm probably gonna put the caps on the side because I'm actually gonna have, so for me, I'm going to have the uh, it come out this way, uh, the tubes come out this way. Uh, so we'll just cap the top, these off. 
which would be fine to paint over the caps as well because the caps are black. We want those to be white as well. So it's going to be, this pot will be easy to tape off. What's going to be difficult is inside, you can see those little um, LED spots. I'm going to try to make sure I get tape in there so the LEDs still shine through. Um, that's going to be important. Uh, I'm not going to paint the back. I'm not going to worry about, I'm not going to worry about the back at all. So I'll probably just mask off everything back here and then I'll make a little cardboard box or something just to put this in and have it elevated a little bit and then just spray it. So um, my first thought is to use regular um, metal primer. See if that sticks. If it sticks well and doesn't just wipe off or anything like that, we're gonna go with that, maybe a couple coats of that. Then we're gonna go with some uh, satin white finish. I'm not gonna worry about an acrylic on top of it, anything like that, like a clear coat. Uh, simply, it's going to go in the computer. I'm not going to be touching it. It's not going to be dinged. It's not going to be banged. As long as the primer sticks well to it, we won't have to prep it. Because if it, the primer doesn't stick well, what we're going to have to do is sand it down a bit with some really high, high grit, uh, like 1200 grit, uh, wet, wet sand it. And then we'll have to get like a, um, an etching primer and then spray that on. But I'm going to try regular primer and go from there. So first, let me, uh, let me tape it up. I'll do that off the camera. And then we'll come back and I'll uh, show you how we're going to spray it. All right, guys, so there it is. Uh, it took me quite a little while to tape it up. Um, I tried to get, if you notice, I tried to get anything, like, the tricky part was getting inside these little spots here. I don't know how it's going to come out and stuff. Like, all these little little nooks and crannies. Um, so that's the front side. I did tape the back side up a little bit. I have no plans on painting the back. I'm probably going to spray back here, though, because I am going to spray the top and the, si and the sides and the bottom. So I taped all this up so we wouldn't get anything here, and then I don't care if the wires get some paint on them, but I made sure the uh, end connectors would not get paint on them. So that's that. All right, I'm gonna take it on the other side and uh, give it a coat of paint. Uh, well, primer anyway, see how it goes. I'm not gonna worry about any of this stuff. Um, that'll just get painted over. The bottom doesn't matter anyway, because it's gonna be, you're not gonna see it, but I'll paint it anyway, because some of it may stick out on the back side. So, all right, let's go paint it. All right, guys, you can hear, unfortunately, I think you can hear the washing machine in the background, so just deal with that for now. And uh, so we're going to spray paint this. I got a little box set up here, so what we're going to do is, as I do the front side and back side, I'm going to pick up the back of the box and stuff and spray it like this. So here we go, best, um, nice even strokes back and forth. I'll move it around and stuff uh, to make sure we get everything. I'm not going to try to coat it too much on one shot. Side don't, this side doesn't need anything really, but we're going to hit this. Turn this up. And this side. There we go. I think that's good for our first coat. Do it with the bottom a little bit here. All right, we'll let that dry for a little bit and we'll hit it again. All right, so uh, first coat is dry. It looks pretty good. It's, so as I touch it, right, it's dry. It's not rubbing off. So I think this is going to work as far as um, the primer will work, right? Um, I'm going to put one more coat on. I didn't get the sides and stuff very well. I got the top pretty decent, but you can see inside the fins. It's hard to see. You can see it's a little dark in there. Um, so I'm going to try to make sure I get the right angle. I'm going to try to get down in there in the grooves. Um, maybe a little lighter coat this time, and then hopefully that's the last coat we got to put on for the primer, and then we'll um, do the um, white. All right, let's get me back set up. Looks like a pretty good uh, coat right there. We get a little closer look. I think we did a good job of getting everything on that one. Um, obviously, we won't know how good our, we did with the tape until we take it all apart. Um, so, I mean, worst comes to worst, we just rub it all off or figure. Well, you know, rub the spots off or clear spots off that we need to. All right. So we're gonna let this cure for 24 hours, and then we're gonna do the um, actually start spraying it white. All right, guys. Back at then. All right. It's been just about 24 hours. Um, there is the finished. I probably should have got a little on these edges here a little better. That'll be fine. No, I'm not too worried about it. That's okay. Yeah, it looks all right there. 
So now it's time to put on actually spray it white. One thing I did forget to do is I forgot to get the plugs. I'll I, I forgot to get the plugs. I'll get them afterwards. Um, I'll, I'll spray those afterwards. Not a big deal. So we'll have to get those. Uh, they're black, so I want to print, uh, spray them white. All right, let's get these set up and uh, spray paint it. Alright, that should do it for now. Uh, I'm gonna wait a few minutes. It says wait a couple minutes between coats, put some light like uh two two more light coats on there, and uh we should be good to go. Alright guys, uh it's been a few minutes now, so now it's uh time for coat two. We're supposed to do it light coats. I'm trying to, not the greatest at this, so I'm trying to start off the side, nice even coat, and we'll go from there. Alright. That's coat number two. They suggest three coats, so uh, we'll go from there, see what happens on the next one. And then we're gonna wait 48 hours for it to um, completely dry, so. All right, be back in a few minutes for the last coat. All right, here we go, uh, third and final coat. I'm just gonna try to keep it light, not too, too heavy, but you know, I ended up getting it a little too close. It was supposed to be 15 inches or so, 12 to 15 inches of way, so I was like, whatever. All right, looking pretty good though. I think it's gonna be it. Uh, we're gonna wait 24 hours. Uh, well, it says dry to the touch in like a couple hours and then like you can handle it in five to nine hours, but they said 24 hours. I'm not doing anything with it right now. Like I said, I still gotta do the plugs. So um, let this, this dry. We probably won't be putting this together for another week or so anyway. So let this dry fully and then uh, I'll get the plugs done and go from there. All right guys, next time you see this, we'll um, hopefully have all the tape pulled off and everything like that and see what it looks like. All right. All right guys, there it is, all done. All the tape taken off. I probably could have did a little bit better with the tape job up here. But I think it looks pretty good overall. Um, all the LED stuff should be fine. Top LEDs, the back. All right, so we made sure we didn't get anything back there. And it looks really good, like nice and white. So when you see the computer, it's gonna be like that or like that. So you're not gonna see any black, right? No black, it's just gonna be white. So that's gonna look really, really nice. All right, last thing we gotta do is, uh, as I mentioned, I forgot to paint these. So I just taped to the back so that we wouldn't get any on the threads. Put these down, just a couple of coats of um, primer, and then we'll finish it off with some white. All right, so here we have, uh, we have our GPU. Um, this is the Zotec uh, 3080Ti Ampolo Edition. This is a reference card. Uh, all cards could be slightly different, so just keep that in mind when you go to take yours apart. All right, the first thing we need to do is take off these six screws. This one, this one, these four, right? These are the first things we have to take off. I might have the wrong size screwdriver. No, I got the right one. Now, I've done this before. Um, I've actually replaced the thermal pads on this. So uh, I'll put a link to the description of that one below if you're actually interested in that as well. If I forget, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure I go and update it. All right, now that all the uh, screws are removed, we actually want to flip it. I can't remember which way we flip it. Flip it this way. So hold it this way with that down and I believe we just I'm gonna flip it this like this. There it is. All right. All right. So there is 
If you look at my uh, last video, you actually see this thermal pad fell apart. It's actually kind of good I took this apart. These thermal pads didn't last too long. You see this one's cracked here. This one, this one actually fell apart in two locations. It really stuck on both sides there. Um, thermal paste looks like I missed a little there, but never overheated. Um, so it's that. So all right. So we don't care about this necessarily. I'll clean it up anyway. Uh, we care about this part. So. We're going to unplug everything. Uh, let's see, we got to take, there's a couple plugs. Uh, one being this one right here. Pull that out. And then there's one more here. Uh, this one. All right. Oh, wait, two more. There's one right here. So there's three plugs. All right, so there's three plugs uh, that connect the heat sink. This, uh, fan, this looks like a fan plug, uh, RGB probably, and a sensor maybe. I'm not 100% sure what they all are. Um, one, one's a fan, one's an RGB, and one's probably a sensor, uh, would be my guess. All right, so we can put this to the side for now. And then uh, what we want to do is, uh, you know, I'm going to clean it like this. Uh, it's going to be easier to clean like this than, than taking the whole thing off, because I can actually move it around, and it's got a, um, it's not like, you know, see the back is solid. So I'm going to clean it like this. We'll clean it off, pull all the pads off, and go from there. I'm going to clean the pads up, too. You can actually see the pads left some uh, yuck on there as well, which I'm not too happy about those pads, leaving that on there. All right, let's clean it up. I'll come back in a second when it's clean. All right, guys, so I got it as clean as I'm going to get it, right? It's much cleaner now. Uh, there's always some little gunk left in the cracks over there. But I, uh, I'm not too, I'm not really that thrilled about, um, there's like a little film. I used uh, alcohol swabs. I scrubbed them a few times. Well, I didn't scrub. Uh, but I'm not exactly 100% happy with the, um, the chips. I don't know if you can see them. Like there's, there's like a little film on them, but I think they're actually going to be okay. I, I did. I rubbed them now with Q-tips and rubbing alcohol a few times just to kind of get as clean as I can. So um, that's that. So now we want to take the back plate off. Front plate's done. Back plate's off. I believe there's there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws to take off the back plate. Uh, we do want to take this off. I believe this is just a sensor, back plate sensor. So. Unhook that, that's the fourth one. So there's four pl um, plugs you gotta undo. Uh, and then like I said, now we're gonna take these six screws out. This one. All right, now we should be able to just peel this off. Uh, don't wanna break it. There we go. And then, there we have the back. Uh, several other thermal pads back here. These ones held up better, it looks like. I've uh, got a few pads here and one stuck to this, so we will just be careful and peel this off without touching anything. I believe that one goes right here if I wanted to. Oh, this one's actually starting to break up too a little bit. Been a few years, so I don't know if that's it, if you're supposed to replace these every couple of years, but yeah, I'm not too exactly thrilled. And you can actually see this as well, I'm not touching too much. You can actually see, I'm going to try to hold it on the sides here. I don't know if you can see this. There's actually all kinds of gunk in there from where the thermal pads were. It's almost like a little oily. I don't want to mess around too much with it. Let's see if I can clean it up a bit. All right, guys, let me clean that up and uh, see where we can go from there. All right, guys, so uh, we got the back cleaned up, the front cleaned up. One last thing we need to take off is the, um, the heat sink for, I believe it's the VRM. Um, there's two, so obviously it goes down here and down here. These are the um, VRMs. I believe that's what they are. Um, they do. This does have to come off. Now we got most of the screws off, except there are three in the front we need to take off. Let me go like this so we don't. The front shroud is going to stay on, but uh, one, two, and three. Those screws. These screws have to come off to take the heat sink off because it's going to be in the way. So now let's bring this back around. And this should actually just come, I believe it comes right off, unless I missed a screw or two. Did I miss anything? Oh, I did. So, you do need to take these two screws off as well. Um, it does hold the front shroud on. We'll take them off temporarily, and we'll probably have to put them back on so it doesn't fall off. But you can see where it actually holds into there. So let's take this one off this off to the side. We are going to need that. But let's flip this around. And 
this should come right off. All right, so thermal pads here, and there's one set there, so we'll take those off. Right. Uh, we'll give those a little cleaning and then uh, we'll get ready to install it. All right guys, here it goes. Uh, we're gonna install. So this is this is our freshly painted white GPU water block. Now I just do these in here. They, I'm probably gonna secure them a little more, but I just want, I didn't want to lose them. So they're in there right now. Um, we'll figure, make sure they're in tight enough. All right, so first things you want to do is take these. These are the uh, cables. These are RGB cables. Uh, and just they want to go out this back side here. Uh, just make sure they're flat. There's a little there's a little groove right there. So make sure they go out that side. Um, you got to take off this protective plate. Let's see how you do it. Just grab it and lift it off somehow. Oh, there we go. All right, there we go. So that's protective plate. Uh, for the pre-applied thermal paste, which we're going to use. All right, we're going to take our card. You know, our card. We want to make sure we we put it the right way. So your um, obviously your uh, input video inputs are going to be on this side over here. So we're going to try to line this up the best that we can because we want to make sure we get a good fit on this. Let me see. And you easily line it up by finding the holes. I feel like this is not lining up quite a hundred percent. Something is off. I want to make sure that the cables, oh, it's the cables. So make sure the cables are out of the way because they were definitely, um, these cables, you want them on the bottom side. They were definitely holding mine up a little bit. All right. And then, so all my holes are lined up really nicely. All right. The next thing we want to do is this, is actually going to go on here. The only problem is it's a lot bigger than uh, my table. So it's going to be like up. So I'm going to have to turn this. So it's kind of half hanging off the table a little. Let's go like this, bring it back a little bit. I'm going to go like this. So it's actually hanging off the table because this, this is wider than this is. So we want this flat. So let's pull this out a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. Actually, I think we can screw this one in now. Let's do that. Let's screw this in now so that we don't have to worry about fiddling with this afterwards. So we're going to use the, um, the screws that came with it. And we're just going to put this one in here. Now, the back plate goes on next before we put any more screws on, but this set of screws goes on first. Oh, let me do this. Magnetic screwdriver helps line these holes up. So line this up, get this one in. All right, and the other one. And we could tighten these up better afterwards. All right. This is so that front plate don't fall off, the shroud, whatever you want to call it. All right, that's in there now. All the holes are lined up really nicely. Oh, most of them, this one's not. What is... Huh, that one's missing. Whole hole. There's one missing there. There's one there, one there. So it looks like this hole, the CPU is missing, but that's okay. That's actually where a power is. So there is nothing to plug. So this hole is not going to have anything into it. So we're going to have, what do we got? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus the Two down here is 12. All right, next thing is we're gonna take our back. I'm gonna leave it like this. Like I said, this is hot longer, so I don't want it to cause any problems. So our back plate, we actually have to take this off. The front plate didn't have anything on the uh, covers on the um, thermal pads. So I'm just gonna peel these off. Now it is nice, they gave you a little tab here. For example, see this little tab? This is nice to grab this and peel it off. It makes it easier to, you don't have to try to pinch the end. end and uh, get it off and possibly rip the thermal pad off. Oh, these still are not easy to get off. All right, so we got the pads off. So now we got to put it down, which way, ironically enough, I, I did dry fit this. Funny thing is, if you look where it says Corsair, it's actually upside down. You think it would have been printed the other way, but this is how it goes on. And it goes on that way because you can see here, these are the power, where the power goes in. These are actually where the clips lock in, the uh, power cables lock in. So, and also you can see where it lines up. This hole's larger and this hole's larger. 
that actually go over those two screws we just put in there like so oh and that back one is covered up so yeah that was one of them so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten screws we're gonna put in I'm gonna put those in right now All right, there you go. So I basically snug them down. I didn't do them too, too tight. Um, you don't want to squish the thermal pads down too much. You want them nice and connected. I can grab this now. Uh, you can honestly see in there a little bit. You can see the pads are, uh, I don't know if you guys can see. I can see them. the little pads are a little, in there. Let's see if we can get it. No, I'm not getting focus. Nope, all right, uh, sort of like that. So that's what it looks like right now. Tell me that doesn't look tough. Looks awesome. Is that? I wish it was the other way though. I'll be honest. Um, I wish. I wish this. See how this one's? It's low. I wish it was a little. I wish it was. This was here. But it is what it is. It's how the card was designed. It would be nice if the double plate went the other way. But um, it was designed. This this plate was obviously this shroud was obviously designed for the. Um, the actual fan heat sink, but that looks good. Doesn't that not look awesome? Now make sure I, I'll get these. I'll try to get these straight across or figure something out and make it look nice. But yeah, that's it, guys. That's it for this video. Um, like I said, if you look at the back, though, Corsair is upside down. That's a little weird. But, you know, because you plug the card in or plug the card in this way. I guess if, oh, I see what it is. You plug the card in the computer this way and you see Corsair. That makes sense now that I see that. All right. So that's it, guys, for the video. Um... I will have another video coming up soon, real soon, uh, with installing uh, this into the PC and setting up the whole uh, custom uh, loop. All right, guys, so that's it. There it is. It looks pretty sweet to me. If you, if you ask me anyway, it looks awesome. Came out great. I'm very excited about this. So um, this is the first video of the uh, custom loop. So look for more videos for that. Uh, for the more loop, I'll actually install this in there afterwards. It's just going to be such a long video. This one was long enough that it is as prepping, painting, putting it together. This was the first thing. Everything else is a lot easier to put together, I think. Uh, that was the only one that needed prep. So uh, that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button. Also, leave any comments if you have questions uh, about what I did, why I did it, or anything like that. Any problems or if you're curious about it. Uh, I'll do my best to answer them. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also hit me up over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings starting at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I'd be happy to answer any questions live on stream. Till next time, YouTube, take it easy.